So why is this study important? So this study is going to help us identify patients who are at a higher risk for developing a heart attack. So plaques in the arteries um, can block blood flow, but not all of them necessarily um, lead to an actual heart attack. So what this study identifies is that there's um, a process in the blood vessel wall that's actually potentially driving this plaque rupture that causes heart attack. So what we figured out is that we can actually target it both therapeutically as well as develop a diagnostic test to actually identify these patients before they have a heart attack so we can we can help them and, 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 and they can see their doctor and be followed by the doctor in a better way to help them prevent heart attacks. So this is an image of a human coronary artery and we're looking down the artery like it's a tube that we're, we're looking into and this is the only space left for the blood flow. The rest is all um, atherosclerotic plaque in the coronary and all of the different colors represent just different um, different cellular components and different um, different parts and this area this whitish stuff is all of the necrotic region of the plaque and that is you know dead cells and debris that have been left over and that is what makes a vulnerable plaque so this particular one would be considered very vulnerable with very bad disease and on the right here what we've done is we've done, used a fluorescent label to identify the cell death, the necroptosis cell death in this artery. So in this kind of region here, we've zoomed it in and, and, and now it's fluorescent. And all of the green spots are cells that are undergoing necroptosis. So those are the ones that we think are, are really driving that debris and that ne necrotic core that's inside. And then we developed um, a radioactive tracer that can light up this necroptosis pathway and in a mouse artery, the red regions here in the aorta represent the, the atherosclerotic plaques. And when we look at the radioactivity that those plaques have after they've had this tracer, the more radioactivity you see, the more of the color, and you see lots of, of radioactive uptake um, in the regions of the plaque that's corresponding to this necroptosis. So this is how we think um, this necroptosis pathway can be used as a diagnostic for, for these vulnerable lesions. Yeah. So what are the next steps for your research? So we are hoping to um, understand a little bit more about the details of how this happens. Um, the more we know about the mechanisms and the details about exactly what drives this process and why the vessels become necrotic and how, we can then develop more targeted therapies. Um, at this point, we have been able to prevent it and, and, and we think that's very hopeful for a therapeutic, but the more we know about the individual details and even the, the genetics behind it and the, the different ways that these are being controlled, um, the more we're able to develop some very specific therapies. Um, and then, you know, to develop this into something that could be useful clinically, we have to test it in animal, larger animal models and we have to actually test it in humans and, and actually get it into clinical trials and things like that. So that's something that we certainly are driving and striving towards um, and hopefully that is, that is something that will happen in the near future. Mm -hmm.